I hope you're ready to dive into a message that could shift your mindset, fuel your fire, and get you moving in ways you didn't think were possible. Today, we're talking about something that's universal, something that every person listening right now can relate to. The simple, profound act of getting up and getting it done. Whatever, it, is for you, whether it's a goal you've set, a task you've been avoiding, or a dream you've let sit on the shelf too long, this message is your wake-up call. We all know what it's like to feel motivated for a brief moment. Maybe you've watched an inspiring video, heard a story about someone who overcame the odds, or you've thought about the person you want to become. Motivation can be a great spark. But here's the truth, motivation alone is not enough. How many times have you felt inspired but never followed through? How many days have started with grand intentions, only to end in frustration because those intentions never turned into actions? Action, my friends, is what separates the dreamers from the doers. It's the great divider. The dreamers think about it, they talk about it, they envision it, but the doers. They're the ones who get up and get it done. They don't wait for the perfect moment, because they know the perfect moment doesn't exist. They don't sit around waiting for everything to align because life rarely works that way. Getting up and getting it done means realizing that you don't need all the answers before you start. You don't need the stars to align or for fear to completely vanish. All you need is the willingness to act, the courage to take that first step. The road ahead will reveal itself as you walk it. But you have to be the one who takes that first step. It's easy to look at obstacles as roadblocks, as reasons to turn around and give up. But what if I told you that the obstacle isn't the thing stopping you, it's the thing guiding you. Obstacles are not walls that prevent your progress, they are challenges that make you stronger, smarter, and more resilient. If you're facing resistance right now, congratulations. You are on the right path. There's a saying that goes, smooth seas never made a skilled sailor. If everything came easy to you, you wouldn't grow. You wouldn't stretch beyond your comfort zone. It's through adversity that we learn who we are and what we're truly capable of. The more difficult the challenge, the greater the reward on the other side. So, when you encounter an obstacle, don't shrink back. Don't allow fear or doubt to creep in. Instead, lean into it. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? The obstacle is not your enemy. It's the training ground for your greatness. You've probably heard people talk about motivation as if it's the secret sauce to success. But here's something most people won't tell you, motivation is fleeting. It comes and goes. Some days you'll wake up and feel like you can conquer the world, and other days, you'll feel like staying in bed, hiding under the covers. If you're relying on motivation alone, you're setting yourself up for inconsistency. The key is not motivation, the key is discipline. Discipline is what gets you up in the morning when you don't feel like it. Discipline is what makes you keep going when you're tired, frustrated, or discouraged. Discipline is what separates those who achieve their goals from those who merely wish for them. While motivation can spark the journey, it's discipline that sustains it. Building discipline doesn't happen overnight, but it's a muscle that can be strengthened. Start small. Build routines. Make a commitment to yourself that no matter how you feel, you will do the work. If you're consistent, that discipline will carry you through the days when motivation is nowhere to be found. One of the greatest lies we tell ourselves is that we're not enough, that we don't have what it takes, that success is for other people, but not for us. I'm here to tell you that this lie is what keeps people trapped in mediocrity. It's what keeps people sitting on the sidelines, watching others live the life they wish they could have. The truth is, you have unlimited potential. There is more strength, more resilience, more creativity, and more power inside of you than you can even imagine. The only limits are the ones you place on yourself. But those limits can be shattered the moment you decide to stop playing small, the moment you stop making excuses and start making progress. Think about what you could accomplish if you gave 100%. Not 50%, not 75%, but your absolute best. Think about the person you could become if you refused to settle, if you refused to let fear hold you back, if you refused to give up when things got tough. That person is within you. It's not a matter of if you can become that person, it's a matter of when you decide to unleash them. So many people look at success stories and think, that's great for them, but that's not me. I could never do that. But why not you? Why not now? The people who achieve great things are not fundamentally different from you. They're not more talented, more intelligent, or more capable. They've simply made the decision to get up and get it done. They've decided to stop letting fear dictate their actions. They've decided to stop waiting for the perfect time. There will never be a, right, time to pursue your goals. There will always be reasons to wait, obligations, fears, doubts, but guess what? Time is passing anyway. Whether you take action or not, the days will keep ticking by. So, why not now? Why not today? 
Finally, let's talk about the cost of inaction. So many people focus on the risk of failure, but they forget about the risk of doing nothing. What happens if you don't take that step? What happens if you keep putting it off? The truth is, inaction is the greatest threat to your dreams. Every day you wait is a day you can't get back. Every moment you delay is a moment lost forever. There is a cost to not acting, and that cost is your potential. That cost is the life you could have lived, the goals you could have achieved, the person you could have become. Don't let inaction be the thing that defines you. Don't let fear paralyze you. The time is now. The opportunity is right in front of you. Whether it's a small step or a giant leap, the key is to move. Get up and get it done. Because the only person standing in your way is you. And the only thing separating you from your dreams is action. Take that action today.